Everybody gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life. Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're having a family day. Um, we're both. Uh, not working today so we decided to take this time to just spend it together and um, take the kids to see Washington DC and the so national. yeah and the National Mall um, Iggy thought it was a good idea right yeah. so what places are you thinking I'm thinking of the American uh, Native American Museum okay what else just walking around the National Mall no, the monument and probably look at the like the Air and Space Museum Oh, that's a little bit far. No, it's the same area. And the lines, I like the way Iggy's talking because I've been there a couple of times and the lines outside are out of this world. So I don't know that we're going to be able to do all of that in an hour and a half. Let's not kid ourselves because we have to be back uh, to do a couple of things. So I don't know that it's going to be possible for us to do all of that, but... Um, We'll try and do as much as possible. I was also hoping that we would get the kids on the train for the first time, but I'm thinking maybe we should try that out as a short trip rather than all the way, you know, there. Maybe from like... Maybe some other time. Maybe, of course, another time. Like two stations or three stations down, you know? Mm -hmm. So rather than heading all the way. So we'll see what to do about that, guys. But yeah, we just want to also say how important family time is to us because you know and we're talking family time like you know no tv no electronics just sometimes and i try to do that with and iggy does it too with sarah where um and even with franco where they we try and do legos you know just some things to keep them away from other distractions like electronics and things like that because it's so important and as you guys know that we don't always have our cameras on all the time and that's important too as much as we love to you know to put these videos out there um, but yeah just every now and then it doesn't matter if it's five or ten minutes guys and drive and uh, or or walk or go to the park close by for a couple of minutes it means so much to the kids and I remember my dad used to take us to eat you know to feed monkeys to eat oh my god to feed monkeys, eat we, monkeys, or feed, monkeys? feed monkeys I said eat, eat monkeys, monkeys. <gasps> if anybody is watching out there who's like an animal person which I am too I didn't mean that I meant feed the monkeys um, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Anyway, I meant feed the monkeys. I remember those are the memories that are stuck with me, you know? Those are the things that really matter to me. And as you can see, I, when we did that, I was like five, six years old, but I remember that. And so it's those kind of experiences that are so meaningful and um, just, yeah, take the time. Spend time with your family, with your friends. If you don't have, uh, you know, people who are family or who are close by or even with your kids or even with yourself guys don't be embarrassed go to a restaurant by yourself go to the park by yourself it's not weird I don't think it's weird I went to the theater by myself a long time ago I hadn't met you honey but I was at this point of my life where I was questioning being a teenager and you know who I was who I was dating and things like that so I just decided you know what I'm done I'm done you know having other people define who I am so I decided to go to the theater by myself I freaked out and I left in the middle of the movie because it was dark and uh, we were like what 10 people in the theater and so <laughs> I left but at least I took the step to go there anyway guys we are on our way there and we're taking you with us so enjoy to the car so much when we traveled to um, California by road and so 
they are just completely used to the car. Anytime they get in, the moment the moment they get in, it takes a few minutes unless you're feeding them um, to sleep. Just literally, right, honey? Like, whoop, and they're out. We're so lucky. We know parents out there who struggle with kids on the road. We understand your struggles. Um, no, actually, I'm sorry. We don't understand your struggles. But we, we, we get it because there are times when our kids get fussy and we get a glimpse. <sighs> Let me play on that word. A glimpse of how crazy it can be and how crazy it probably is for all of you. So um, we, we, we feel you. Uh, because I don't know how we, we would survive. We were in the car a lot. So <laughs> we're glad that we have kids who are used to it. Oh, look at that guy. You know, he used to be in that corner. I think they moved him. Guys, there's so much poverty still around here. It is not even funny. You know, people now like construct. You see, you guys, I don't know if you saw that guy over there, but you know, as you know, I worked for an organization that dealt with poverty and it's near and dear to my heart because I've, I've seen, you know, I've, I've, we've struggled too. And so I can't even imagine people who are out there and they're on the streets. You know, it's just, it's heartbreaking and it's sad and it's crazy. Um, and especially in the capital like this. Oh, just a moment. Honey, I got a ticket here twice. There's a camera right there. Damn. That was not funny. It was when I actually started SIT right before I met him. Um, but anyway, back to my other topic. But I wish there was so much we could do. It just breaks my heart to think about all those kids who die every day because they're starving and and women and men and just it's just really really sad and that's why I'm always trying to be grateful for what I have no matter how little it is because it is so much more than other people have you know and in, on YouTube it's a little bit crazy because you get wrapped you know you get wrapped into how uh, how much other people have the kind of houses they're buying you know and it's really important to remember that Whatever you have is what is meant for you. Yes, you can strive for more, but always be thankful for what you have at the moment. Right, honey? Yes. Because, I mean, we both come from, we're both born in developing nations. So it's, we've seen things, but there are people who have seen worse. It was yeah, burning Because me. it has chlorine, that's why. Oh my goodness, I was and burning. In, in um, I think in part of India and part of uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. they use water uh, to from, do the what? River, from the river, uh -huh. and then they put a little bit of uh, they add a little bit of chlorine, uh -huh. and, then? Um, and that brings out light. Oh, in, in so the, it sort of like purifies it, right? Yeah, in the room. Uh, oh, it actually literally creates literally light. Literally creates light, yeah. So I did not know that. Did you yeah. guys know that? Um, Interesting. So they use that, like where uh, they have big storages or. Or houses that don't have electricity, so they use ah. that. In India, they use that a lot. Oh my, it's I did not know that. Sustainable development. We're close to where we both went to school. So, do you miss this area? Not do really. You <laughs> we struggled, guys. It was, too, it was too stressful. Too it was stressful. I used to see this road in the morning and be like, oh my god, I'm in for a whole day and a whole night of studying. You know, and then some of our classes were like from eight o'clock to four. Suha's class was like that. Eight o'clock. Oh my gosh! And with the worst subject. I'm so sorry, professor, if you ever watch this. But yeah. your class was so boring. But not because of you. You, I'm sure the subject meant everything to you. But because it's just not for. It wasn't for me. That was like my Achilles heel. Like economics. I mean, there are parts of eco economics that are fine, but the majority of it just killed me. You know, I'm more biology, public health, um, stuff like that. If any SIT people are out there watching, let us know how you felt about that class because not good. Anyway, we're here. As you guys can see, the kiddos are awake. Franco! Oh, I'm gonna miss those little frog legs. 
And by frog legs, I don't mean tiny legs. I just mean that the way they curve their legs and their babies. Are you in a better mood now? She was in moods, guys. Moods. All right, we need to find parking. Hey guys, look who I have here with me. And it's a little bit dark. Hi, handsome. Say hello to them. All right, so we're gonna, we've just parked, so we're gonna get going. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, guys, we just saw a huge spider in Franco's car seat, and now we can't find it. So, wait, I'm gonna hold Franco and then, well, his stroller seat. I'm gonna hold Franco until we get outside to make sure that it's not there and that it doesn't bite him. All right, we're ready? This is kind of dangerous because, you know, when cars get here, it's a blind spot and they have to honk. But then, what do we do? All right, guys, let's get out of here. We're looking for the spider, darling. Ah, that's the cozy I've been for. Okay. Honey, I like your shoes. Yes, yeah, oh, Sarah is matching. Mommy is not matching with Daddy and Sarah. like this again is like I feel like I'm back in school okay so I need to get my bearings right so where are we now I now I know where we are I think it's because we switched roads I mean not roads but the way she brought us through the building sort of like confused so, me so that's where I am watching the okay the good points right there yeah I think that's the Ronald Reagan so that's and this is the awesome. Maria Jacob <laughs> yeah, you wanted them to see that, right? All right, yeah, guys. Wine is good. Healthy. Wine is good in moderation. In health, unhealthy. Yeah. yeah, in moderation. The long time ago, we used to come with my mom a lot to walk around oh, yeah. DC. I think we should do that this summer. Just yeah. come and walk, walk, walk. walk. Come early. Yeah, come early in the morning because it's getting hot. We made it without getting hit. Can you put this in the bag? You sure? No, no I don't want to put it in. After what happened with your desk? Backpack, backpack, backpack. Oh, backpack, okay. Okay, guys, we're in the hey, capital the here. Okay guys, so here is USAID and then we have the US Customs and Border Protection. Okay guys, so we're about to show you the US, the new African American Museum, which is like impossible to get into unless you have tickets. Some tickets are sold like, not sold, but you have to reserve them. They're free. The tickets are free. You have to reserve them like months in advance though, so. Oh, guys, look at this. That's the monument right there. And then the Museum of African American History is here. How incredible is that? It's a beautiful building right there. Have you seen the Museum of the Bible? Yeah. Where they recreated like, the tomb of Jesus Christ? I cannot wait to see that. I should probably take my parents to see that. We should all go, all of us. Hey okay, guys, the Holocaust Museum is all the way down there. Hey darling. Franco is like slumped to this side, he's like watching from the corner. Of... Hi 
Hi, baby. You okay? Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the refreshments over there. Oh, yeah. We forgot both their hats, actually. I know. I see the Samuamis, yeah. Oh, you want to get juice for them? For Sarah? This is why I love this stroller so much because you can switch it up any way that you want and now they can talk to each other How cool is that guys? Super cool. It's the National Museum of American History. So I was right. I, I, I love it. I love how his feet are placed up there. Do you guys hear that? The guy is playing with buckets. How cool is that? I knew I wasn't hearing my own stuff. guys just watch how Sarah gets ready to run look at her hands okay just watch just watch Ooh. look at her hands hold on she's about to Whoa! <laughs> good job You know that life is full of surprises You better realize, better realize Nobody knows, nobody knows what's